Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, adding bread to any meal or chocolate <laughs> can bring you lots of happiness. <laughs> Rob Roberts from Breadsmith is here to show us some of the latest creations that you can make up. And we've got a theme today in honor of chocolate fantasy coming up tomorrow. I love chocolate and I love chocolate fantasy. <sighs> That so brought you guys some chocolate treats. Three of us. And you said there's a difference between the chocolate I buy at the store, the vanilla I buy at the store, and what you make and buy at Breadsmith. Absolutely. I mean, we always try and deal in the highest quality possible. So, for example, the only chocolate I use comes from Barry Calibo, who was just announced came with a new Ruby chocolate, which was developed more for the millennials and also the Chinese market. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I stick with more of the traditional ones. You can get chocolate chips in a multitude of sizes. These are called a 4M. And what they mean is there's 4,000 per pound. So when you do a chocolate chip cookie, for example, you get a better distribution. That looks like a really good chocolate chip. It looks like my, my, my mouth is like even half watering. Half chocolate, half cookie, which is how, yeah. I might have drooled over some of these uh, treats that you brought. <laughs> oh, you better take it home then. They have to come to my desk, you know. <laughs> now, something else Sorry. the nice ones do is when you're melting chocolate together, because we do a chocolate and butter melt, so we can come up with the roundies, it's the first step. Mm -hmm. um, helps temper it, and the smaller the piece, the easier it is to melt. Mm. Now, so for the chocolate fantasy, we're doing brownies, which takes us six to seven hours to make. Wow, that's not, so you don't just come at, it's not like going and grabbing the box and throwing it in, no. like I do at no. home? No. no. <laughs> well, we have to start off by taking, we have to start off by taking um, the actual chocolate and butter. Yeah. And melting it together. And then that has to cool underneath 90 degrees. Otherwise, when you add the eggs, it scrambles. And no one likes yellow flakes in their brownies, not unless it's cream cheese. Mm -mm. So the overall process, and then the baking time is about 45 minutes. And you have to let it sit for about three hours for you're actually ready to present it. Because it has to set up. Yeah. Um, mm. So we've got this chocolate chip. We also have this cocoa. And as you can see here, why don't you smell it? It's from Bensdorp, which is a label from Barry Calibo again. It's Calibo is a European chocolatier. I bet this, this would make really good chocolate milk. Mm, let me smell it. <laughs> it's like heaven. You want to just grab a spoon? I think that's what heaven smells no, like. We have a spoon. <laughs> we have a spoon. You guys are welcome to sample anything you want. I might sprinkle that on my Sunday that we're going to make later. That's fine. Sprinkle some cocoa powder on top of the ice cream. Why don't you just show us um, a seven layer bar? Why don't you pick one of those up real oh, quick? Oh, so this is one of my family's favorite things. It's the seven layer bars. My aunt makes them really good. I'm guessing you do too. <laughs> well, with my wife's help. She's the actual one who came up with this recipe. Mm -hmm. But here are the seven layers. You have sweetened condensed milk. We use English walnuts. You've got the flake, um, flake coconut, sweetened coconut. The chocolate chips, the peanut butter chips, you gotta have butter, and then you've got your graham cracker crumbs. Have you had a seven layer bar before? Uh, yes, but not that one. Not this big? And you so can, I better. Oh, oh yeah, you better. You better, I, I must. you better taste test a bite of that. Just to be sure. Journalistic duty that we have here on North Dakota today. That's seven layers of heaven. It's also known as the seventh heaven bar. There's another term I've heard <laughs> at the farmer's markets. Mm. Yeah, we brought for you today some chocolate almond sticks, because I just thought, why not? You probably haven't had those before. Those look like little bow ties. I could wear that. You could. <laughs> That's don't, what he's going to wear to the chocolate fantasy tomorrow. It's an eatable tomorrow. bow tie. I'll wear it to the chocolate fantasy tomorrow. Well, I won't be wearing it long. No, I, no exactly. Uh, we've got your scones, and we yep. do an English-style scone, so it's it's very, very moist. It should be like a delicate biscuit is what it should be like. Kyle, once again, could you do me the honors? Oh. Christy? Taste test? You look hungry. Keep, keep taste testing away over there, Kyle. And it's very, very lightly mixed because you don't want to make the gluten hard. So it's just like a biscuit where you're just kind of folding everything in together. So it's got a nice, delicate flavor. <laughs> Are we happy? I might just like paint of happiness right now. That's mm. okay. I'll try to catch you. Mm. That's really good. Now, something else we're doing for the, for the fantasy Lucky. tomorrow, since you're eating, let's have a little pumpkin chocolate chip dessert bread. Oh. If you're well, okay pumpkin. with it. It's oh, pumpkin okay. spice season, so we might as well have pumpkin chocolate. Whole slice or half slice? Um, half, please, because I have a lot of treats to try here today, so. You've got time. Perfect. Keep it coming. So when we're looking for chocolate, what are some of the ingredients we want to make sure are in them that make the really good chocolate or cocoa? A lot of it comes down, it's like if you trust your baker, you got to trust your chocolate company. And there's nothing wrong with the Hershey's and the Guillotards and people like that. But I like Calibo because it gives me a different flavor profile. And that's one of the things you're looking for in the chocolate. It make, Chocolate makes you happy. Mm, yeah, hello. So how do you pick up right here. the high-end stuff that you guys are going to get? Is that something that you can order for yourself online, find it at a local store? I would or? think you could order it online. Okay. Um, we use, like for example, we buy this wholesale, we do sell it retail also. Oh, okay. But and that's your vanilla that is different than 
the one that's probably not in, in my store in <laughs> pantries. Oh, wait, right. this one. Yes. And that is a real vanilla, but it's it's not really as good as ours. Right. As Christy, you smelled it. What would you think? I smelled it, and I do love smelling vanilla when I'm baking, but this, you open the lid, and it was like a waft of vanilla at right. you. And, and it just smelled so warm and inviting. And well, I Nelson wanted to drink it. Vanilla. He said, don't drink it. Now, <laughs> did you, now, this vanilla comes from Madagascar. Did you know that about over two-thirds of, of the world's vanilla comes from Madagascar? No. And in March, um, they were lost about 30% of their beans and plants. Mm. And it takes about three years for the plants to come back, three to four years for the plants to come back. There was a typhoon that hit. And because there are no pollinating bees over there, they have to be the plants, which is an orchid, have to be pollinated by hand. And it's a <laughs> vine-like orchid plant. So that's why it's so expensive. And that has more than doubled this last year. Let's wow. just say that I was in the low 200s, and now I'm over $500 a gallon for that. Wow. So don't drop it. Okay. Wait, you want to drop something? Is up. Don't chocolate you, is up too, You right? can drop this one. Don't, don't waste it. <laughs> but chocolate is up too, you said? Yeah, it's over double too. And that's kind of the same thing? They had some production or, well, well storm issues or it just kind of depends? Demand. Oh. It actually started up chocolate, the, the cocoa beans. Christy's eating too much chocolate. I'm sorry. No, have more, have more. That's okay. <laughs> no more for you. But in South America is where it came from, and it has to be grown under 1,000 feet. They Typically, uh, where they like to grow, they get at least four inches of rain a month. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a very, very wet tropical mm -hmm. area for the beans. And now it's going as far north as southern Mexico is where they've developed their crop, but you're only as good as your worst bean. Oh, by the way, the reason I brought this, just in case people want to go to the fantasy tomorrow and they're worried about getting only chocolate, we're going to have some other things there too. This is a blueberry lemon dessert bread. Oh, okay. So something just you, to, to cleanse the palate, cleanse. if you will. Or just to change the or profile. Or cha change the profile. Are you doing the breads, though, too, for the chili? Only 1,200 of them. Oh, <laughs> maybe so thirteen hundred. I'm not sure. A few rolls just provided a few rolls. by Rob over here. Yeah, we do. Um, we do seven layer bars. We're doing brownies. Um, we're doing a lot of stuff. Um, quite a few dessert breads. Your a whole bunch of chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookies. I haven't decided about that. Mm. Uh, probably not. Only because I'd have to bake them right before I got over there, and that'd make my morning a little bit hectic. And I'm unfortunately I'm getting ready to leave on vacation on Friday, so. My mm. time is short, Christy. I would do it if you were coming. Okay. I'd bring you a six-pack. I'm, I'm going to be there serving right. it up. What? Kyle's going to be serving there, too. Yeah, we'll be serving, too. But we what time just, do you we'll, want? We'll steal some cookies today. We'll just, yeah, we're yeah, going to. We'll, I'll we'll just, be good there. That's all what, for what you. What cookies, Kyle? There weren't cookies. <laughs> he never brought He never brought. But any Kyle's cookies. got a bow tie. I have a bow tie, though, a chocolate bow tie. That's right. So you said the key to when you're making your brownies at home, make them from scratch, obviously. Mm -hmm. Attempt that first. There's good mixes out there, but mm -hmm. it's better. Anything you do from scratch, as long as you get a quality recipe and quality ingredients, is going to be better than you get out of a box. Yeah. I'll challenge anyone on that. And it's just time. It's going to take, it, it's going to take time. You're not going to get brownies in 45 minutes. No. <laughs> I mean, I mean, even doing dessert breads, as any grandmother will tell you, it takes time. Mm -hmm. Whether it's right. banana bread or whatever kind of bread it is, it takes time. So, are you selling this at at your store? Can I come and get a hold? Oh yeah. Okay. We sell quite a few of them. Watch out, Jaron, because we're going to fight over this loaf of bread. <laughs> the dessert breads. I'm right. not always a huge pumpkin fan, but there was something about it that it wasn't like too And I'm not, pumpkin. my it wife and I always spice. fight about, she puts chocolate chips in our banana bread, and I am a, I like just banana bread, banana bread. Right. But maybe if I get these chocolate chips, well, take it will some be home. okay. Take no, some home in case ones. Christy doesn't want you, just take some. I'll have, to, them. I'll have to steal them from her desk. Put them in your pocket. <laughs> That's a really good idea. But I'll get a little bag and get you fixed up, buddy. So you also are going to let us make a sundae? Absolutely. Excuse me a second here, sir. No problem. Let's just get this kind of lined up. He's so precise with everything. That's what well, I love. Well, somebody's got to be a baker around here. Come on now. Um, I'll take that big brown. I was going to say, Christy's just going to have the big one. All right. So. One for you, one for Kyle, not two for you. And we've got some nice ice cream right here. The scoop's scooper. scoop here. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's a small scoop today. Are you okay with that? <laughs> just, yeah, I'll just limit myself to one scoop. Just to, I'll just give you a partial, how about that? To save my... Uh, Girlish figure? Yes. Now, if you really want to do it upright, you know what else you can do? The strawberries. A little bit of strawberries on top, uh, just to dress it. Could you hand me one of those spoons over there? I'll take these from you. How many years have you been helping with the chocolate fantasy? Because I know they're going on year number 34 already. It started in a church basement. Did you know that? Yes. How many years have you been Rob helping? Rob was there. 15. <laughs> 15 years you've no, been doing? No, uh, 14 helping? years, 14 years. Holy buckets. I opened 15 years ago this fall, and uh, so I just missed the first one. Wow. 
For me, that is. But no, it's... Becky Cody was on your show the other day. She's a wonderful gal, and mm -hmm. she always puts the arm in me very successfully. So I'm happy to help out. Well, and from serving there the last five years, yeah. the breadsmith stuff is always the stuff that moves Everyone's fast. Everyone's stuff moves. Yes, well, thank you. But, in yeah. and out. Oh, Kyle, would you like a little bit of a whipped, whipped cream? cream? Uh, yes, please. Ladies first. Yes, you lots, tell me when. lots of whipped cream. Yep, thank you. You did say lots. She did. That's good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So give it a taste test. Let's see how it is. And we used our French vanilla ice cream because, of course, I like vanilla. I don't even know where my brownie is anymore <laughs> underneath my whipped cream mountain. He found his. And let's talk about, too, I know with Thanksgiving coming up that we've bought breadcrumbs from you to oh, yeah. make our stuffing, and it makes it that much better. We'll be getting ready. To, well, the nice thing is, once again, it's a quality of ingredient. Mm -hmm. There's certain breads I won't make those um, those little stuffing bits with because they're just too light in density. Right. I typically like to use a lot of French's, um, Italian breads, some multi-grain breads. It has a little more body, holds up better in the bird or in the casserole, however you want to do it. Oh my gosh, this is so good. When I find the brownie, it's good. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just a whipped cream bite. You could just put it all in your face, you know. No, we no. are not doing that <laughs> on North Dakota today. I bet it'd be good TV, though. Night. I don't want to end up on YouTube. <laughs> All right, I'll play I would post it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, when you're baking, by the way, if oh, you yeah, the zoom in on thing. this, this is Vietnamese cassia cinnamon. And if you look at the cinnamon you have at home versus this, the Vietnamese is a lot darker because Vietnam mm -hmm. is very conducive to growing great cinnamon. It has almost twice the oil content, which is the flavor you're getting out of it because it's the bark of the cassia tree that's been ground up for it. Smell that. Holy cinnamon. Oh my gosh. That smells really good. Can one more with? Sure. This oh. is smell o vision, folks. Can you smell it at home? I wish we had it because there's so many days we make such delicious right. stuff. Today would have been perfect for us, so you could smell the chocolate. Smell it almost the looks as dark as the cocoa. Yeah, it really I mean, does. And the cocoa is much darker than some of the other ones you'll find in the stores. Mm -hmm. But you can see how both are very, very dark and rich and just full, packed full of flavor. This one is also 22 to 24 percent fat content, so that helps give it a little more of the richness. Wow. And let's remind people, tomorrow you can come out for the Chocolate Fantasy and Chili 2 event that's going to be happening, benefiting the YWCA. It's held, being held at the Delta, which is located just off of 42nd Avenue South. Or you can always stop at Breadsmith off 32nd Avenue. And all of these delicious treats. Correct. But if you want to, just, let's support the Chocolate Fantasy tomorrow. Let's mm -hmm. all go over there and help them out because it's such a great cause. It's perfect for lunch or dinner. It goes out all day, so you can stop by either time. Or if you're busy in the afternoon, just swing by because it's going on. That's one of the best you times I've found. You can grab and go. Grab and go. Swing. If you go at like 2 o'clock, that's when the, like, the lunch rush calms down. You can basically walk around and get your pick of whatever you want. So it's a great time to stop by. You guys right. are missing the big point. It could be an all-day buffet if you want. There we go. You can just hang out with Rob. Just tell him. The pro knows. <laughs> Rob, thanks Thank for you, coming Rob. in. My pleasure. Thank you. Mm. We'll be back right after this. I'm just going to keep Time eating. to eat. I know.